Hello and welcome to the next video. In this part, I'm going to install software on the first of the two old laptops. I'm going to install Windows XP Surface Pack 3. Boring! On the Fujitsu Siemens Esprimo Mobile from 2008. Okay, I've started up the system. I first want to enter a restore disk and see if it will boot. Windows XP Professional Restore. Ooh, here it is. Sound. First check what's on this disk. Tools, software setup. Well, we'll just reboot. F2. Here we look for the boot sequence, CD-ROM and then hard drive. Okay, so it will detect CD-ROM DVD first. Discard changes. Oh, cannot boot from CD. What the hell is that? <sighs> okay, well, that's the first bummer. Yeah, okay, we we'll have to find another trick. I'll just pop in the HP XP Professional Service Pack 3 and maybe it will guide me to Service Pack 1 Ooh, setup Allow This looks XP Welcome to Microsoft XP Windows XP install. Can't do that. Okay, it cannot install. Install again with mm -hmm, installation settings. See, it's actually for a compact computer. I I have that one, but hey, look at this. This program is being blocked because of compatibility problems. Search online for solutions. No, no, no. What what file is being run? It says win winnt32.exec. So we can go there and just run it as administrator. And then see what it does win in it so it's probably at the bottom somewhere w i here it is 32 it said step loader run as administrator allow damn no cannot do can do i got it no i don't we'll do, <laughs> we'll do a reboot and See if it picks up the boot disk. I will get XP on this system. The good or the bad way. Oh, yeah. Press enter if you want to start from this CD-ROM. Your operating system CD was originally shipped as part of a Restore Plus kit for validation purpose. Please remove the operation CD and insert the aha. Here we go. So it will guide it to the, I think this is the right one, because this is part one. Only he calls it a CD and press enter. First let it spin, spin. I'm afraid it will say, no, it's not good. All right, enter. Checking the Restore Plus CD. Please remove the Restore Plus CD, reinsert the operation system CD and press enter to proceed with the installation. So it did give some kind of confirmation. So I put back in the one with the Service Pack 3 XP on it again, I guess.
then press enter to proceed. It's going to be weird because Super Mosquito is still here. Now it's checking the CD. Hey. Wow. I think we'll get a nice blue screen. Yes, enter. Gebruikersrecht overeenkomst voor Windows Microsoft software. Belangrijk, lees dit zorgvuldig. We're not gonna read this. Page down. Where is that? Somewhere at the top here. Oh, we're reading all the shit. Yes, yes. I agree. One partition. That's true. D. Enter. You've shown you want to remove this. Uh, L, remove. C, make partition. Just do maximum. Okay. There's nothing else I can do. I'll just leave 8 MBs. Enter to install. Format partition. I want to do a thorough. So... I'm gonna stop here. It's gonna take a while. 99! We're almost there. It takes about 19 seconds for one percentage to pass. So 100 times 19 is 1900 seconds. Okay, now it's finally going at it. Yes, sorry. Enter to restart the computer. I'm not gonna wait 10 seconds. Here we go. It didn't say I had to remove the disk drive, did it? So I won't. There he goes. Windows XP. I think I hear raining outside. Whoa, look at the... The resolution. Ah, yes. This is... Installation time. 39 minutes. Oops. I just want to have a minimalistic... Windows XP but professional professionals the most advanced version I got it I got the mosquito I don't know what it's doing now many people will right now. oh yeah here country settings I want to set it to UK, I like, never say, okay, next, okay, authentication, I had this memo with code on it, so I'm going to try that one first, and it says Monday 6th of May 2000, that's wrong, it's the, uh, the 27th, next, in Windows XP, there are possibilities for sharing photos with friends and family. Storing parts in registry. Still 15 minutes to go. Save settings. Another reboot. Improve the resolution. Okay. Wow. No sound, by the way. Okay, now we're going to the welcome screen. There won't be many updates. <laughs> Your name. Thanks. All blah, blah, blah have been achieved, accomplished. So now we're going to the desktop environment, I guess. Welcome. Yeah. 
Look at this. Tour. Let's do a tour. It does the tour with Windows Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay, let's check if it's actually service pack three. I want to check system information. Service pack three, 2002. That's good. Let's, let's check sounds because I didn't hear sound. Uh, I don't like this. Please, classic. Hardware. Next. Search. Is it already connected to your computer? Yes. This one. Next. The drivers for this device have not been installed. Click on continue for problem solver to start. Yes, only this time the wizard will look for updates. Automatic install. I also couldn't find the internet, the ethernet card that's inside here. So that's also, yeah, connect to the internet <laughs> first. Cannot be installed, ah oh, boy. So the installation went perfect except for some hardware devices inside this machine. Reboot. Risk. Sound drivers. Yes, okay. Whoa. Hey. Yes, do a little wizard for the internet. Yes, use existing shared internet connection. Next. Computer name, very old laptop. Next. Don't need to do it on other computers. Next. Again, reboot. Now the graphics drivers. What do we, this oh, is a cab file. Uh, we'll store it somewhere on the computer. Control C, my documents. Oh. it's connected VGA yes only this time I'm going to choose myself next next bingo
Okay, that's it. That's all the software for the system we need. Now we have a nice working XP computer. Garbage can there. Okay. The thing I don't like about this computer is the resolution. It's awfully low. Now that we have drivers for our screen, we can set them higher. This is the maximum. 32-bit. Apply. Ah, this is better. Look at this. This is as far as I go with XP. It's a very nice system. I have connection to the network. These are the latest drivers for sound and graphics. I've done some setting changes. I think it still makes this thumb file point DB. And this screen adjust. We can small picture grams, small pictures, and close the Outlook Express. Can I remove it? It's useless. Configuration screen software Windows parts to add or remove. Hey, here we have some accessories, bases, certificates, Internet Explorer. You can add or remove Amazon Explorer. Windows Messenger, Media Player, uh, all right. Outlook Express and Internet Explorer can be removed. When I press next, will it remove these or add these? I think it has added these. <laughs> yeah, okay. Reboot. The strings, the violins, it's real. Just to see if this is a lot better than Vista. I say yes, because it's faster, it's very fast. It can now use the same amount of RAM, only it needs less because 2 gigs of RAM actually. It actually can use less 1.75 gigabytes. This is the first computer, and now it's time for the next. We're gonna install a Linux. That's it for this episode. The next episode will be the last one in which I try out multiple Linux distros and finally choose one and at the end we do one last startup comparison with the new system setups for the two laptops. Bye!